Well, we're off. It's uh, 3.47. Tide's low at like 6.45. The governor just off, just uh, put up a uh, stay at home. Uh, I don't know if it's an alert or a warning or something. You, 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 supposedly after today, you can't go out except to go into the grocery store or going to the pharmacy or if if you're essential you have to go to work the beaches are closed except for walking and fishing and exercise but the golf courses are open go figure that who knows anyway we're going to head back to uh, where we were the other day I think we may stop short and look around one spot there just uh, just a shade east of the cave first but we'll uh, see how it goes stand by I had to get some gas one seventy nine I had two bars left on my tank. I'm going to take a guess and say it's going to take $17.47. Let's see what it is. Well, I was close. $17.09. 9.5 gallons. <laughs> I got gas now. I see you. Well, you can see there's plenty, not plenty of people, but a lot of people on the beach. You, I know you know where we are. We're not going here, we're just taking a look here. See what it looks like. This we got so much time before the tide gets low. You can see people out there swimming. And here's where the steps should be. It don't look very interesting to me. Sand's mushy. I don't like it. Westbound. I got the little coil on. I'm going back to where we were. I'm going to round out of iron a little bit, see if there's anything we can pluck out that was getting masked by that, all that heavy, big iron. I suspect this is going to be exercise only. But it uh, was a nice day. I cut the grass in the back. Sun was out. Now it's become a little overcast. And they're calling for heavy rain this afternoon into the night. I think tomorrow's gonna be okay. Okay, stand by. Well, the tide is way up here too. I can see some of that big iron, but it's off there about 10 foot. We'll have to knock around around these rocks right here. Well, that's the first target. Came in at eight. Two ounces of gray matter. Came in at 18. Next target is a gathering of gray matters. A three ounce and probably a one ounce maybe. And a snap. Well, I changed coils. That's the way to keep your boat from getting stolen. Put a weight in it. <laughs> well, I found some more gray matter. Not much more. And it's, but the tide's getting off good now, so I've come back and changed coils. Looks better down there now.
Look at that ticket right there. Now that's a ticket right there, buddy. When I get home, somebody will be a happy boy. A nice salty tennis ball. I got a holler 12, 26. Twenty-three, twenty-six, twenty-five. Amongst all this iron. I wonder what this is. I've been over this spot three times today. Come out of there, Tiquito. Might be iron now, look. Oh, it's jumping now. Damn, I thought it was going to be a good target. We got it. We'll see what it is. Now, I hear it in there. Oh, it's a penny. I would have never believed it. Damn. Amazing. Now we've got a 17 right next to it. Right beside the hole. But there's only one scoop deep. And I see nothing but rocks. So it must be a little... Oh, wait a minute. Well, whatever it was fell through. Well, I don't hear any more 17s. I don't see anything in there that looks like 17. We may never know. Okay. Back to the drawing board. That's a big old oyster shell. Well, it's 6.59. I left right at low tide. Be home in about 20 minutes. Gray matter. Some, some crappy junk. Some of this, some of that. Okay, here goes the nut. We got uh, some nice gray matter. A nice brass gear. A nail, I presume. Two baby gray matters. Two wussets, some brass screws. One dime, three pennies. One is really cruddy. Some little teeny crap. I don't know why, that's the second time it's cut off in the middle of the video. Anyway, this is the end of it. I might see you tomorrow somewhere. I'm not sure. Boo! -boo. What are you doing, boo? -boo?